today. We've got some strut tower braces. They go here. And you can sit like that. Just like that. Okay. And then the rear. Pop and shrunk a little bit. Oh, okay. There. Okay. So, today we are going to be installing two strut tower braces. Not one. Two. Two. This is going to be like a legit install video. Like we're going to, you know, and we're going to show you like step by step process on how to do it. And who, who, who are these strut tower braces made by? Modern Performance. Modern Performance. So they specialize in an L SRT four parts. Yes, they do. Okay. So it sits just like that in there. That one. To those two nuts. And then okay. This one sits just same like side. Yeah. It, we'll figure it yeah, out. Yeah, we'll figure it out. And then the back one, we have to rip apart the whole trunk. So trunk. Assemble. Take out all this shit. And all this shit, and it goes and in it, there. Oh, yeah, and it goes, okay, so, and it just goes across. And if you can't tell, my bearing is fucked. That's no, okay. It's okay, though, but. So, I said that I would give you a step by step process. Step number one pop your hood, pop your trunk. If you can't do that, go home. Well, what if they already are home? Then, Put it all away. Heck, go okay. tell the mechanic. All right. So first step, what what do we or after popping the hood and the trunk? What do we got to do? You're gonna take one, two, three, and four. You take those nuts completely off. The proper sizes for these two bolts is a 13 millimeter. What's your flashlight at? Right here. Oh. A 13 millimeter socket for the bolts on the front. Yeah. And then, you know, you just unscrew them. Just give it, give it a good unscrew. You gotta make sure that it's a certain ones. This one and this one. Yes. Don't touch this one. Yeah, yeah, we don't need that. Yeah. The next clip will be the next step. The next step. Right? The next step. Yeah, the next step. I mean, it's pretty. it's a pretty simple install. It is a pretty simple install. I mean, you could do this at home. We are doing it at home. Look at that. Look at that uneven paint, dude. That's terrible. Oh, my battery is gonna die. I gotta go run to get a new battery. But what about the install? I'll be back in two seconds. Just don't start the the next step without me. Okay. I got the battery. We're good to go. Did you take the other bolts off? Yes. Already? Yes. Wow, that's fast. That's great. So now, you basically, what are this you doing? Back, so, you gotta so you gotta do make sure, yeah, do a flipperoo. That's, that, that's a great terminology, I really I really like it. Thanks. And this is for an SRT4 Neon, but basically it, it should work for most cars that have the uh, strut tower. You mean every car has strut towers? Well, every car has strut towers, but some are like back up in there and they're really hard to get to. But your car, you know, they're just right there Not out right. in the open. I gotta figure this shit out now. Now you gotta. I don't even know what I'm doing. He doesn't even know what he's doing. How are you gonna tell these guys how to do this if you don't even know how to do it? Maybe it was on the right way. Maybe. We'll find out now. Well, while uh, Fuckboy over here is uh, finishing up the fronts, since we told you how to do the fronts already, we're. I'm going to go in the rear and I'm gonna work on the rear. We got to um, take all of the. Oh wow, it's dark in here. But no worries. Hey, where's my light? Are you kidding me? I had my light. My, my nice, good light. I, it was right, it was, it was in the vicinity of me. That's not my light. All right, found my light. So, we're going to the rear, and we gotta take out the intercooler, the uh, rear strut tower brace, and everything in the trunk, and then we can get to the, um, I have the, the, intercooler in the, rear? the bolts, yes, you do. Cool, that must be like the second turbo. Oh, shut your mouth, dude. You're, are you serious? The second turbo, you know how dumb you sound right now? You can't even do it. You're not even, you don't even know how to work on cars. You should just get rid of this car because you don't know what you're doing. All right? Shut up. I'm working on the rear, all right, buddy? I'm not your father. So this retard forgot a step. Uh, you, gotta, you gotta get an Allen key. You gotta to, tighten these bad boys. To tighten that up. What size is that for the other side of the uh, strip tower bracing? This, this thing so, yes. that I'm tightening? Yes, what size? It looks like a 14. So you need a 14 if you get the modern performance. You know, but who, who cares? Because nobody, nobody's going to get that garbage except for you. You fell for the trap. What trap? The trap of buying SRT, an SRT4. Yeah. It's like that guy from Star Wars. It's a trap! You know what I'm talking about? No. Because you're stupid. 
Because I don't watch Star Wars. Where's your, where's your Allen keys? I have Allen keys somewhere. You find the Allen keys, I'm gonna keep ripping your, ripping your rear out, you know? I'm just gonna, you know, I was really, I was really excited. All right, guys. So if you have watched my uh, vlog video of us doing Austin's installs, kind of on our adventure of getting Austin's axle and such. We were supposed to install a passenger front axle because front wheel drive life. And that was supposed to be a separate install video, but Napa fucked that up. But now I gotta, I gotta rip this rear out, you know? Like, I'm, I'm talking, I gotta rip the whole thing, just ripping it out. I'm about to gut this trunk. Do, do the honors and just pull this thing out. Just rip it out, dude. This, this is weight reduction right here. Weight reduction. If this isn't weight reduction. 15 horsepower. So now, we gotta work with that right there and that right there and it's just gonna go across the, the top of it. And that's, that's basically it. It's probably gonna be the same sizes and the same thing as the top. So put this back in there. Wait, 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 you can't put it back in there. You never know if I got, what if I got a flat tire? Hold this! Move the tire! You gotta put this back in there. Oh wait, we gotta clean this shit out. Kind of like a shop bag or something like that. I do. So I'm gonna go get the vacuum cleaner and we're gonna clean this out. Got the shop vac, good to go. So now we're gonna clean this trunk out. What are you gonna do with all this garbage? And the- It's gonna go out the garbage. Oh yeah, are you gonna put it back in your trunk or? No. Oh. Oh, that? Yeah. Yeah, that's going back in the Oh, okay. Um, but that's basically about it. I'm working, this is kind of a- This is for sale. Oh, that, oh, okay. Both this, this right there is for 20 sale. 20 bucks for both. 20 bucks for both. It's a uh, crash bar and a stock intercooler. So if anyone wants to buy it, comment down below. So, I'm working on trying to make some more videos for you guys and this is one of those that I'm trying to do is like an install video where I show you kind of like a step-by-step -step process. This was like my first install like video that's just based on an installation. So, I'm working on doing that. Over time, I will, I'll become better. The install is complete. There wasn't really much of a step-by-step -step process. I mean, we gave you the best step-by-step -step process that we could. You know, we got the front one in, nice and stiff. And now the rear is in. And now the worst part about doing installs is we gotta put all this bullshit back. He's gotta put the spare tire, the intercooler, and the crash bar. And the crash bar back in. And then we should be done. The axle video may or may not come out. It hasn't been, nothing's been recorded because he still needs to get a new axle because Napa fucked him over. Now we're just gonna put all the shit back in his trunk, close the hood, move the cars back in, and then that should basically test conclude. Drives, yes. Oh yeah, then we gotta do that. Even though it's raining out, we're gonna test drive it. I'm sure we're not gonna feel the difference. No, you'll probably feel it. I've heard people feel differences. So, you gotta put all the stuff back in your trunk. Nuts. Yeah, I don't want to go. Well, what are you gonna do with it? I don't know. It's gonna be metal on metal rubber. I'll put it in the back seat. Alright, guys, so that's gonna end today's video. Uh, we're pretty bummed out that we couldn't install the axle, but we got a good strut tower brace install video up. Trying to get at least one, one video out a week. Give me a thumbs up if you liked the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Trying to get that 100, 100 subscriber mark. So, uh, Austin, you got anything left to say real quick before the. I like the, the way this looks. Oh, yeah? A nice gutted look, you know? Can't see nothing. Let me get the flashlight. Get the flashlight. <clears throat> yeah, dude. It, it actually, I like it. It looks good. The strut tower, it's, it's simple. So, that's all I got for today's video, guys. I really appreciate you guys watching. And I will see you in the next one. See you later.